the establishment of a daycare in the St. Andrews area came to play as the Ministry of Social Development seeks to improve the availability of government-owned daycare facilities in the rural areas. With a total of 45 daycares throughout the country, 34 are in the St. George's area, with only 11 of the 45 government-owned. The Moncton Child Development Center was funded by the Indian Aid at the cost of 300,000 U.S. dollars and was implemented by UNICEF in collaboration with the government of Grenada. Don Cyrus, social worker in charge of daycare services within the Ministry of Social Development, said the initiative was in response to residents' requests. Some time ago, we had some discussions with a group of people primarily women in the Mount Horn community, and they expressed the need for a DK service. So it was an express need by the people in the Mount Horn community. The Minister for Social Development is also the parliamentary representative for that area, and uh, it was raised at that level with her. Subsequently, we identified a building where we're looking where it will choose the cost where we don't have to purchase the land. So we do know that there was a plot of land in Saint and in Mount Horn. I think it's the Cocoa Association. So that building was identified. Cathy Julian Ramsey, supervisor of the daycare, said that since they reopened their doors in March of 2020, they have received great feedback for parents in Moncton and nearby communities. She said they provide service for children as young as six months to three years old, between the hours of 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. for the cost of 100 EC dollars. Currently, we have eight children in the center daily. Well, today make it nine, and um, we have approximately 14 registered. Unfortunately, two of us children had to leave us because one went on to preschool, and um, the next one, she um, changed residence. I would say the parents are very comfortable because um, when we opened our center doors on the 2nd of March, 2020. Some of the children who was initially here before the um, COVID lockdown, they returned. So I would say that the parents must have been comfortable to return their children to the center. For GBN News, I am Rina Peer reporting.